Howdy folks, live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn. Stay, dine, and relax year-round on the shoreline of Lake Superior in downtown Bayfield. Any traveler, any season, any meal, your view awaits. More info at thebayfieldinn.com. And by the Bayfield Chamber of Commerce, beautiful Bayfield in the Apostle Islands. You can tour sea caves and shop our galleries and stores on the shores of Lake Superior. Info at lodging at bayfield.org. And by the Ashland Chamber of Commerce, Ashland, Wisconsin, where you can social distance naturally. For year-round fun, visit ashland.com. And now, here's your host of Ten Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, and singer-songwriter, Michael Perry. Howdy folks, and welcome to Tent Show Radio from Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua. Tonight, we revisit two Big Top nights in one, reliving a night with the Cowboy Junkies and another night with the Whalen Jennies. And a little later on, I'll share a story about my buddy who got into the New Yorker magazine, but wishes he wouldn't have. Folks, the music you're about to hear emanates from a special space in a special place. The Big Top is just that. A grand blue and pearl gray striped canvas beauty, suitable for a circus, but in this case home to a history of live performance centered on the stage. The big top seats are set directly on the earth, and what a spot of earth it is, high atop a hill overlooking beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin, Lake Superior, and those all-natural waterbound wonders, the Apostle Islands. If you enjoy that vision, if you enjoy what you hear over the course of the next hour, And if you want to see it and experience it firsthand, please get to know us at www.bigtop.org. It sounds beautiful up here because it is beautiful up here. You ought to come on up. Some years and a hairstyle ago, I heard a song so sad and slow I was unprepared for the power of it. That song was on an album called The Trinity Sessions. The band was out of Canada, a place even north of here, yep, you bet, and... And that album has endured the test of time, proving sometimes the quietest moments echo the longest. That also might be one of those pseudo-profound statements that don't hold up under scrutiny. So let us listen as we travel back to a warm July night in 2008, when the tent was filled with fans eager for the sounds of our Canadian friends, the beautifully echoing and enduring Cowboy Junkies. my body on the funeral pile Got a loose to float downstream Leave it frozen on a mountain top Suspended high to be big clean Never to grow 
Well, uh, most of our songs uh, have to do with heartache and misery. And uh, we've made a career on that. <laughs> but uh, the album for us that is filled with heartache and misery that really gave us a career is an album called Trinity Session. Uh, and uh, Trinity Session has just turned 20 years old. I don't know how that happened. I really don't. That uh, in order to celebrate that album, because it, it was very special for us, um, we uh, went back into the church that we recorded Trinity Session in, and uh, we did some more recording. And uh, this time when we went back in, we brought in some friends, Ryan Adams and Natalie Merchant and Vic Chestnut. And uh, we sat around in a circle and we had this big film crew come in and they stayed outside of the circle and, and we uh, turned down the lights low and we started to record all the songs that we had played the original time we'd been in that church. And um, I have to say when we went into the church, we were really kind of nervous uh, to go back in and do things again. But what we didn't really realize is that over those 20 years, we had become pretty cranky old people. And, uh, <laughs> and that had seeped into our music. Same songs, different attitude. <laughs> so we're really proud of the Trinity Revisited, which is a CD, DVD box set. And uh, for those of you who like the first one, you have to remember you're 20 years older too. And uh, you'll probably like Trinity Revisited as, as well. Anyhow, this next song is a song off of Trinity Session, and uh, Natalie Merchant sings this song on, on the uh, CD DVD set, and she did a great, great job. This is called To Love Is To Bear.
they say to love is to bury those demons from which we all hide but tonight by this river beneath this willow tree becoming During our sound check every day, uh, we work on new material, and then there comes that scary day that we decide perhaps the song is ready to uh, be played in the show. There's always that first night, and uh, <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> so uh, tonight is the first night for uh, this this next song, and. Uh, Usually means my palms get kind of sweaty and gross. Um, so <laughs> I shouldn't have really told you that, should I? <laughs> All right, I'm delaying. Um, this is called The Girl Behind the Man Behind the Gun. Too many 
Before we do that song, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank our crew and all the people that helped us here tonight. We had Jared and Tim and Craig and Rick, our driver, Amy and Ed, and, and as I say, there were tons of people who helped. We got a great dinner this evening. Thank you very, very much. I'd also like to tell you about our website. It's cowboyjunkies.com. And uh, at that website, you can find all sorts of things, uh, all our CDs and DVDs, videos, and probably a few cassette tapes, even. Uh, <laughs> that's how long we've been around. Um, but the most important part of our website is our email list. And if you're not on it, we would love you to get on the list. We'll let you know when we're coming back to this area, but we'll also let you know when we're recording. Uh, we often record um, albums because we like to, uh, and we don't necessarily always promote them. We just sell them at shows like this or through our, through our website. So if you're interested in that smaller kind of project, the only way to find out about them is to get on the, get on the list and uh, we'll let you know what we're, what we're doing. So that's it. Uh, my name is Margot Timmons with the Cowboy Junkies. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.
Listening to Tent Show Radio. Welcome to Intermission, folks. Last week I happened across a friend's name in a most unexpected context, specifically, plop in the middle of a New Yorker article. The article was about politics, and my friend manifested in the form of what I think you might call an indirect quote of an indirect quote, or perhaps the second cousin of an indirect quote. But then I'm not your local grammar expert, as listeners occasionally point out. Point is, a leading figure discussing one of the prime, white-hot, neighbor-splitting issues of the day dropped my pal's name in there, so I shot him a text and congratulated him for getting into the New Yorker before I. In response, he texted, Wait, what? Well, that right there is a direct quote. After he read the piece, we ended up on the phone. Turns out he has a relative in the politics business who referenced my friend as a means of imparting common man context to the mood of the general populace, which my friend would rather he had not, especially since the result was, ironically enough, short on context. We can let that go now. Upshot is the whole thing led to us having a fine catch-up conversation. The two of us live several states apart. We see each other maybe once every year or two in a friendship that probably qualifies half a notch above passing acquaintance. But wow, was it good to talk. As it turns out, we were both alarmed, mystified, grumpy, and a few other descriptors regarding the state of things in general, with a 93% overlap in perspective. So we really let her rip. There's a lot of talk about making sure we maintain conversation across the fences that divide us, and I second that with all my frady cat heart, even as I falter. The French philosopher and essayist Montaigne warned us against only ever speaking to those with whom we agree, which he described, indirect quote alert, as following the flow of traffic on the same path as those whose opinions cause us to nod and say, ah, that is so. By very virtue of birth, neighborhood, and geography, I am spared treading water in the thin broth of a single opinion, whether I fancy it or not, and I figure that's strengthening. And yet, sometimes you need a conversation without guardrails. Time on the phone, or around the fire, or at the mailbox, or wherever time, trust, and privacy allow, hello, vanishing concept, to just let it all pour out to speak without fault or favor, to spend more time nodding than gritting your teeth. Some call it self-care. Some call it blowing off steam. I'm just glad I called. There's a corollary in parenting. Anyone fortunate enough to have shared the privilege of raising children with a good partner knows there are times when the two of you need to meet up and trip the old pressure relief valve and rattle off every character flaw, every maddening habit, every reason the kid is never going to find the laundry basket, let alone success in this world, so that you can then draw a deep cleansing breath and go back to loving that child in the way you never stopped loving that child. Yes, sir. Well, after that gorgeous cowboy junkie said, we've got the perfect chaser. From a visit they made in the bountifully musical season of 2008, and in keeping with the Canadian theme, 
This trio of musicians has won some Junos, which we call the Canadian Grammys, but the Canadians call the Junos. Thank you very much, eh? They stand on stage as a powerful, harmonizing testament to the fact that sometimes when the right three voices accidentally meet up at a guitar shop, careers are born. And better yet, music the likes of which we had heretofore not heard. Here now, from the Big Top Archives, we present The Whalen Jenny. Take me to the breaking of a beautiful dawn. Take me to the place where we came from. Take me to the end so I can see the stars. There's only one way to mend a broken heart Take me to a place where I don't feel so small Take me where I don't need to stand so tall Take me to the edge so I can fall apart There's only to Tent Show Radio. You guys are going to be exhausted before the show's over. <laughs> so, uh, were there many people at our last show in this audience? Yeah. Well, welcome back, and welcome to any of the Jenny's newbies out there. You guys are a nice big show. Wow. Well, we're going to play you a song now that, uh, that muses a little bit on the fact that we human beings seem to be the only species on the planet that continually question our existence. That is obviously not having been inside the, the brain of a squirrel. Maybe there is much lamenting about the monotony of the nuts. You never know. In any case, this is our take on it. It's called Arlington. Where do you go, little bird? When it snows, when it snows, when the world turns to
Thank you very much. Thanks for singing. That's Ruth Moody. Get your day's work done. Get your day's work done Oh, soon you'll be Thank Warren and Terry for inviting us back to Big Top Chautauqua. It's been such a great pleasure for us. And we're working with a fantastic crew up here. Crews on lights, Tom on sound, Andy on monitors tonight doing a great job. And uh, Mark is recording the show tonight thanks to him. Yeah, you can give them a round of applause. 
Thanks also to Chris and Lisa for stage managing and uh, to Steph and Marsha for feeding us tonight. Food is very important to us and they won their way into our hearts. Thanks to our uh, fantastic sound engineer back there, Mr. Grant Johnson. He's also our road manager and this was the last night of our tour, our month long tour. So we'd like to send out a big thanks to him. Thanks to uh, Thereen and all the volunteers uh, selling our CDs tonight. And last but not least, thanks to all of you for coming tonight and for supporting us and being such a great audience. Thank you so much. Um, this is a song that I wrote at the Thundering Women's Festival in Thunder Bay, Ontario. And I don't know if many of you have been to Thunder Bay, Ontario. Any of you? Wow. It's, it's, you know, it's sort of the, the quintessential small Canadian city. It's, it's full of rocks and trees and bugs and uh, lots of nice people. And it's very picturesque. However, the place we were staying at during this festival was really not at all. And uh, I fell asleep after about three hours of listening to crows eat garbage in the parking lot. Um, and I was woken up a couple of hours later by a mosquito. And I know you guys know all about mosquitoes here. Um, but they're like small dogs in northwestern Ontario, so I was not pleased with this little nighttime visitor of mine. <laughs> but when I woke up, I realized I had a melody in my head, and uh, I, t I took that opportunity to actually write it down. And it turned into this song right then and there. It became a, a song about finding peace and hope in a place that hasn't had it in a long time. And uh, unfortunately, the mosquito had to die in the process. But um, <clears throat> in any case, the words are, oh sweet peace, never have you fallen upon this town. <laughs> All right, so that, we start with the chorus. So uh, it's very, very easy. So please do sing out. We'd love to hear you sing again. Thank you once again for coming tonight. And uh, this is called Avila. <laughs>
Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn. With 21 hotel rooms, over 25 vacation rentals, a lounge, on-site restaurant, and rooftop bar, there's something for you at the Bayfield Inn. More info at thebayfieldinn.com. And we're brought to you by Bayfield County Tourism. Find out how to get in touch with your inner wild at travelbayfieldcounty.com. And by the Cable Chamber of Commerce. Cable, the gateway to Bayfield County, where world-class trails, forests, lakes, and adventure await. Visit cableforfun.com. That's cable, the number four, F-U-N dot com. The Waylon Jennings, and opening things up, the Cowboy Junkies. Such music this canvas has corralled. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you beam it or stream it, we thank you for listening. We're as grateful as a guy who doesn't get quoted by politicians. We'd love it if you come on up Bayfield Way or down or over or through for a live show one day. Details always available at bigtop.org. You can visit me anytime at sneezingcow.com. Until next we share the air, remember, where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose. <laughs>